now to set your domain name as your Blue Sky handle. So you've signed up to Blue Sky and they have created a handle for you. My handle is websplaining.bsky.social. So in this video guide, I'm going to be changing this to websplaining.com. First of all, we'll need to purchase a domain name. To do this, open up another tab and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to Namecheap. I'll put my referral link in the video description below so that you can click on it for your convenience. My referral link will give you a discount when you first buy your domain name with them. So you'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. So at the time of recording of this video, if you buy a .com, you'll save 57%. For a .net, it's 13. For a .org, it's 42. And if you scroll down further, you'll be able to see all the discounts available for all the other TLDs. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll back up here. So you'll need to search for an available domain name. So just as an example, I'm going to type in Websplaining and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to search. Now, of course, websplaining.com is taken because I own it. However, other TLDs are available like .NET, for example. So find an available domain name and then click on add to cart to add it to your cart, click checkout, and then go through the checkout process by clicking on confirm order, creating a Namecheap account and adding your billing details. So I have already got my domain name, so I'm not going to buy this .NET. I'm just going to close out of this tab. So once you've bought your domain name, go to your Namecheap dashboard, click on domain list to see all your domains find your domain name. So mine is websplaining.com. So I'm going to click on manage. Your name server by default will be on Namecheap basic DNS. If it isn't, that means you bought a Namecheap domain name before you watch this video and your name servers are pointing to a custom DNS. You'll need to either deal with your domain's DNS records at the host that is pointing to, or if you want to follow along with this video demonstration, you can simply change your name servers from custom DNS back to Namecheap's basic DNS as displayed here. Okay, so your name servers is Namecheap basic DNS look to the tab that says advanced DNS, click on it. All right, we'll come back to the basic DNS section in just a second. Let's go back to our other tab here to our blue sky account. Click settings, scroll down until you see change handle. There we go. It's under advanced. Click on change handle. Click. I have my own domain. Enter the domain you want to use. So in this text box, type in the domain you just bought. So in my case, it's going to be websplaining.com. Make sure you've clicked on DNS panel. You should be on that by default. And now I'll need to add the following DNS record to our domain. So see where it says host. Underneath that, you'll need to highlight underscore at proto. Right click on it and click on copy to copy it to your clipboard. Go back to your advanced DNS on Namecheap. Scroll down a little and look for where it says add new record click on add new record in this drop down menu here scroll down until you see txt record click on it in host right click and paste in underscore at proto go back to your blue sky settings and copy the value underneath highlight it again right click and click on copy go back to your namecheap advanced dns right click in the value section and click on paste and click the check mark to save the changes to your namecheap advanced dns okay so now we're done with namecheap you can close out of the tab now all that's left to do is to click on verify DNS record and it should say domain verified. Once it says that it means you're done. However, you need to make sure you click save to save the changes you have just made to your handle. So click on save, go back to your profile by clicking on profile. And now if you look at your blue sky handle, it should be the same as your domain name. In my case, it's at websplaining.com. Okay, so that concludes the video on how to set your domain name as your blue sky handle. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on blue sky, then I welcome that too. I'll see you there. Is it so?